Hello everyone, my name is Midnight Rarity, and yes, as you can see, um, I don't know what you can see. It's really up to you to decide what you want to see with your own eyes. Seriously, I have not learned how to make an intro ever since, like, like, like what? <laughs> Ha. Hey guys, like me, Midnight Rarity, and if you clicked on this video today, it's probably because you saw the title, which is how I organize my My Little Pony collection. And I don't know if you know this, but, um, I have quite a lot of them. <laughs> what I did is I went and took all my ponies out of my display that I put them in because I want to actually manually show you how I do it. For example, here I have all my customs waiting up here. Then I have all my unicorns and then my alicorns. Then earth ponies and pegasuses are down there. But I also have a very good reason as to why they're all just kind of chilling up here. So I'm not sure if you know about this app that is called Snups. It's a very, very amazing app that allows you to organize, create shelves, and well, do anything you really want including from selling your ponies or anything really and then to making groups it's really an amazing app and i'm very happy that they have decided to sponsor today's video snups is very easy to download all you do is go in the app store or whatever your form of uh downloading apps is and you look up snups it's very easy you just download it and in a quick few seconds it's up and running if you don't want to go to the app store because maybe you're lazy like me <laughs> i'm kidding no it'll be linked down in the description below so you can go download it and then watch the rest of this video while it you know loads and stuff don't worry if you cannot get this app on your phone because maybe you don't have a phone there is a desktop version available so now i know that was a lot of, to take in i'm just like saying everything that this app does but it's really really amazing so we're gonna go over each and every single one of those aspects because they're really truly amazing so there are a ton of things you can do on snups like i previously mentioned for example you can create your own shelf so now as you can see on my snups page you can see my my little pony collection that is right there because this account is dedicated to my little pony I don't know if you knew, but I'm a My Little Pony channel. <laughs> so I have shelves for all the types of ponies that I have. For example, I have a shelf for alicorns, earth ponies, unicorns, pegasus, and even customs. By the way, if you go follow me on Snups, I will follow you right back and we can also have discussions and everything awesome like that. Right now, as you can see, I have one follower, which is um, not good. So all of you, if you want to go follow me, please do. I'm going to follow them right there. And as you can see, I'm going to be following everyone who follows me. So please, please, please 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 go check me out oh and one more thing before i continue on to the rest of this awesome video on my profile you will see a for sale page which means that yes i am selling my ponies all of these ponies i'm kidding no i'm not selling all of them that would be like selling all my, all my whole collection and, and I, i'm not ready to do that ever here i have a bunch of random ponies that are just kind of chilling out here that are separated from the rest of my pony collection and these are some of my doubles but also a bunch of these ponies have a bunch of memories with me would love it if you guys checked out my snups page because i do have a couple of ponies for sale before i even show you the rest of them let me show you how this works all you do is you go on your own profile and then you go on the desired folder i'm going to go to my shelf that's labeled for sale where all my ponies for sale are then i'm going to click on the orange little plus right here and then i'm just going to take a quick picture of the pony that you're trying to sell and then you're going to click on the orange arrow and what you're going to do is fill out the name of the pony that you're going to sell as well as add additional images that you want to add in order to to try and show everyone that what you're selling is not a fake and is actually real it's very reliable and very safe to sell on the snaps app you can also rate your pony and add a description for example this sunny race is in perfect condition you can also list your ponies on ebay which is also a really nice feature because it's so fast and so quick you can also add other item details but uh, aside from that all you do is you click done up in the little box above you go and you click on the pony and it's just very simple you click the accept offers button and then anyone and everyone can make an offer very quickly and very fast it's a very easy simple to use app that i really like and also something that i forgot to mention as you can do this on other items for example let's say i'm selling my spike i could just go down here and click accept offers on a previously made item i'm not actually going to be selling my spike so let me just take that off <laughs> very much like this a lot like i was saying before these are the ponies that i will be selling on the website just make sure you go on my for sale it's a bunch of ponies i might be adding a lot more there's sweetest for all bon bon nurse red heart dewdrop dazzle apple bloom twilight sparkle uh dj pwn 3 as well as sunny rays or vinyl scratch however you want to call it 
Snaps, by the way, is also, oh, well, I just broke this table. Snaps, by the way, is not just for My Little Pony, it's for everything. So you, if you have other interests like LPS or really anything in the world, you can probably, most likely, you will find it on Snaps. So please make sure to go follow me. Look at all my ponies. Be oh, okay, Midnight Rarity just fell. So yes, please make sure to go check me out on Snaps. Please follow me. I'll follow you right away. And uh, you can also check out my collection. It but yes, Snaps is very easy to use and it's very fast and very quick and reliable and amazing. Amazing. So make sure that you go join Snuffs, you follow me, and also join my group. I will link both of those in the description below as well as the download link. It's going to be very fun having you there and I will follow you back. So I hope to see you there very soon. I love you guys. Anyway, let's move on to the rest of this video. I know exactly what you're thinking, Midnight Rarity. <laughs> Why is it such a mess? Why is this whole thing such a mess? Well, it's because I don't know what I'm doing with my life. That didn't make any sense, but let me just show you all my ponies that I have laying right here. As you can see here, I have all my unicorns, and like I mentioned, all my, the, what, what are they called? Um, Earth Ponies and Pegasus, yeah. The way that I display my ponies is actually kind of different. They're kind of hidden from my room because um, if I ever have friends over, you know, I'm kind of like almost an adult male and uh, having ponies out everywhere would kind of scare everyone. So basically what I do is above my closet, there is this little shelf that I have where I keep my castles, my little display shelves, and where I keep the contestants of Equestria's Next Top Model separately. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a couple of ponies at a time and put them in their respective locations and show you how it exactly I store them <sighs> okay so I'm gonna climb up this ladder right here because there is no way in heck that I can reach up there <laughs> I'm gonna place this down here and hopefully nothing falls now here is where I store all my ponies now as you can see I do have this equestrian castle I have a review that I made but I never uploaded do you guys want that I have this middle section right here up there holds equestria's next top model contestants and then right here I have my equestria castle that they usually go for like a lot of money now but I got it for 10 bucks can you believe that here is where equestria's next top model contestants go as rainbow dash is a contestant so she's kind of chilling up there and uh Ignore Mod Pie is a contestant in the show and uh, just just ignore her for now. Trust me, there is a reason why her hair is like that and why I didn't include her in uh, <laughs> the Snups website. Down here is where I hold a bunch of the show ponies that are in the show like Starlight Glimmer. Down here in this area that's uh, populated by dogs and Derpy, I have uh, all my customs. Over here I have the main six and then uh, the villains usually go around here. Then obviously I have uh, Shining Armor and Princess Cadence right here as well as Celeste and Luna over there and a bunch of just random ponies that don't have anywhere else to go go up there oh yes and I drew a bunch of uh, evolutions my sister drew that oh my sister also did that uh wooden carved uh, OC of my leaf drop. And then I did that uh, ugly thing. Now over there in Sequestria is where I hold all my other background ponies or just ponies that I, I have. Hasbro OCs as well as um, Queen Novo and I think Haven Bear is over here. Yeah, they're just kind of chilling there. Up there, all the way up there in that little section over there is where Pinkamina Diane Pie kind of goes because it's creepy and I love it. <laughs>
goodness. <laughs> Guys, that took a lot more hard work because I'm alone right now. And I also am holding a camera while also climbing this ladder to the top is steep. It's high. It's really, really high up there. So um, it's finally done. I finally organized my collection. I know that I might have done it a little bit differently than what other PonyTubers do. Let me actually show you a pony so you don't get bored. I know other PonyTubers like also do these how to organize collections. But like I... um. I think I did it wrong, but I did it, hey! So yes, like I said, I like to organize my collection by hiding it a little bit so I can still close my closet doors whenever. Um, but let me just take you around a little tour now. So over here I have Canterlot Castle. As you can see, I have the main six right here as well as Fluttershy and Discord over here. And the evil villains. Then I have the royal princesses up here. And then I have just a couple of random ponies up there that I couldn't find a place for or that just look kind of cool up there, including my prototype cupcake, hey! How obnoxious am I? Rate me on a scale of 1 to 10 down below. <laughs> I have all my Equestria's Next Top Model contestants right here as well as this big, uh, uh what is it called? Uh, Celestia statue. I used to have the Princess Sterling and Gold Lily up here, but they kept on falling from all the way down here to all the way down there, so I decided that's not the smartest decision. Then down here I have a bunch of characters that do appear in the show that, are kind of, that have kind of prominent roles, except for maybe these two, but these two are Equestria's Next Top Model season one and two winners, so they kind of have to have a good spot because I really want them to be displayed correctly. And down here I have all my customs as you can see i have um not that many but i do want to make a lot more and i have been making a lot more so get ready for that now i feel like i'm going to show you the place where all the ponies that are more rare and more background ponies are kind of chilling at and that is over here at my sequestria castle as you can see i have a bunch of uh ponies over here i can barely reach some of them and some of them you can't even see like sea scroll back there she's covered up by honey rays i really do like this because i can display them in a nicer setting other than just like kind of crumpling them up together that wasn't a word other than just kind of putting them all in one place because I don't have space this is actually a really good way to save a bunch of space and uh have it be actually looking nice they extend from all the way down here to all the way up there including pink Amina just kind of chilling <laughs> up there <laughs> she looks very creepy but you know we're gonna respect your decision to be up there but yes I have a bunch of ponies just kind of sitting up here looking all regal and royal and I love them all so much and I'm just I I'm surprised that I can even fit them it's pretty much about it let me give you a little bit of a bigger tour um yeah it's a lot <laughs> i need help but yes ladies and gentlemen that is it for this video i hope that you enjoyed it and i hope that it wasn't too bad or too um kind of really messed up uh, because it is kind of hard controlling everything from like holding camera to a bunch of ponies and make sure they don't fall and break so um that, yeah that's pretty much about it for my collection uh well not not for my collection but the way i organize my collection now that's not uh all of it but it is a large majority of it but i love you guys and appreciate you guys and thank you so 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 much for watching make sure that you go and download snaps it is a very amazing app like i said join my group i want to see you all there and um also follow me i'll follow you right back and talk with you and uh yes make sure that you go check out the ponies that i have for sale they are still up there and hopefully i do add more in the in the future and uh yeah that's pretty much about it for this video hopefully you enjoyed i love you guys thank you so much for watching i'll see you all in my next video good and good uh, uh, Goodbye. <laughs>